Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Jake, also known as Yakko Benz here on YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well. So we're gonna do this a little differently today. It's midweek, not at the weekend, just as of yet, but I still wanted to give you an update on what sold. So we're gonna just push this straight into the weekend sales. Um, so let's get started already. You know what, why wait? There's no point in waiting. So the first thing that sold, um, I'm sure you've seen this before in my other videos that I have this Zenith Transoceanic. Ah, it's mad heavy. It must weigh like close to 20 pounds. Tran Zenith Transoceanic model 3000-1. So, this radio over here that I'm stressing to pull has the cord attached to it, so I have to watch out. Um, but this thing over here did sell for and even before I even get into what it sold for, it is not, well, it's sort of working. It's sort of working. It turns on and you can sort of hear it. Um, I did a test in one of my other videos. I'll link that above. So you guys can go check out that video. But it basically turns on and you could hear it a little bit, not that loud. And um, the, there's like a battery pack in the back and they're all batteries that are in there are corroded like crazy. So. I took pictures, I put it as is, and it's old. It's old for a whopping $50 plus $20 shipping and handling. So that's gonna go out. All right, so the next thing that's old, yes, I only have two sales, but again, this is midweek, so for me, it's fine. And they're pretty good sales. Uh, next thing is in box number nine, which as you can see is gonna be a little bit tricky to get to, uh, if I find it, which I think it's all the way right over there. All right, hold on. All right, did a little cleanup. <laughs> Let's get to it. Box number nine. It's not in here. Oh man. All right, hold on again. All right, after tirelessly looking, found it in box number four. Yes, I guess my nines look like fours, or my fours look like nines. All right, here we are. This is an ADT, it says ADT, multimeter. It is a vintage suspension vault ohm multimeter. And it says ADT on it, as you can see, but it is actually a triplet model 60. After a lot of research and a lot of digging into what the heck this thing is, that is what it is. Uh, it sold for $50, as is. Yes, another as is, 50 bucks. And it's going international. So be on the lookout for multimeters. Old vintage electronics still sell. All right, let's see if I could uh, transition this straight. I'm not gonna be able to transition. I don't know how to transition. And weekend sales, no. Okay. I don't know if that transition worked. Hope it did. Anyways, hello everybody. Um, we actually also got some stuff delivered. You got some tape, sorry for the background noise. You got some tape. We got some stuff that's gonna be put on the wall here. So, but first and foremost, we got three sales. All right, so first one is in box number nine, which happens to be right over there. these remotes right over here yep this over here is a madam alexander doll it was marked down to dollar day sunday the thing is with this it's missing its hat so i did pay a dollar for it and it sold for a whopping 13 dollars plus shipping and handling all right so this has to go onto the shipping table. I love the dollar days at Goodwill. I mean, that's mainly, if I don't have inventory, that's where I'm going, either there or the bins. I mean, the profit margins from the bins or the dollar days is really what's worth it. Unless you're going yard selling and garage selling, which I technically can't right now. Um, 
technically can't only because my wife doesn't enjoy yard sailing, my kids don't enjoy yard sailing, I get really into it and they just sit in the car and wait for me. So it's not really worth it. So that's exactly what happens and that's the reason why I usually go to Goodwill or I end up going to the bins. I take a day off work and that's what usually what happens. Anyways, the next to close this bin here is in bin number 10, which is down there. But let's just close this first. Okay, bin number 10. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's all the way in the bottom. Gotta open both latches. Right over there. If I could get to it. All right, we got it. TiVo remote. Now, for all of you who don't know about remotes, uh, they're very easy to test. All you gotta do is put the batteries in and do this format of what I'm doing to record, which means selfie mode on recording, and start pushing buttons. And that light over there should blink, and that means the button's working. So, this sold for $10 plus shipping and handling. It's a TiVo remote. Um, got it free, so that's good. And we have one more sale, be in box number seven, right over here. And it's this Garmin GPS. So GPSs do sell. I did test this. I went into my car, I let it sink and it tested and it worked. Figured out where I was and how to get to another place. Um, so that sold for $20 plus shipping and handling. And that makes the weekday sales. Now, let me show you what I got. All right, so first thing first, this box over here seems heavy. I think I know what this is. Oh, Amazon gives you a preparation, so hopefully it'll be a little. There we go, that was easy. All right, so this is a toilet paper holder. Now, why did I get a toilet paper holder? Be because it's gonna actually hold up my thank you stickers, as you see, they're going all over the place. So you're gonna have the thank you stickers. Plus, it has a nice, there it is, see, box. So we'll be able to put some more stickers in there or some tape rolls to be held in there. It's basically gonna go over here and you have, and obviously you're gonna have this over here and and basically we're gonna have this go right over here. I might put another roll of stickers over there. I don't know which ones yet. And that's it. You'll have the thank you stickers hanging down like that. When you roll it up, roll it up like that. There you go. So perfect. So that's gonna go over there. Oops. This will go down there. This gets attached here. And it goes just like that. Sorry, so that's good. That's one. Next thing I have is a box of tape. Literally, just packing tape, which needs to get opened, and I have one roll left, so I had to buy more. I bought off eBay. Um, I did not buy the eBay tape, so no more eBay packing tape for me. Um, I got this tape. I'm going to test it out. Uh, sure Max tape. No idea. Um, it says it's 2.7 mil, which is stronger than the eBay packing tape. I'll test it out and tell you guys how it works. All right, so the next one, basically, this is the more exciting pieces. Got some packing material here. Oh, it's the heavy one. All right, so let's go with this first. So. This is pretty exciting. Most of you know that I have a bunch of paper tape. And when I do my paper tape packing, here's a paper tape. And when I do my paper tape packing, what happens is, is I gotta get I get a cup of water and a paintbrush to paint this down and get it sticky. But I decided, you know what, enough's enough. I have a lot of paper tape, so I am investing $30 into, wow, they all started packing with these things. Very interesting. All these, all these private label things, they started putting these nice 
belt stuff over it. This, and as you saw, the other thing with a toilet paper holder. So here we go. We got our paper tape cutter and let's see. Awesome. This is gonna go right over here, just like that. Oh, ouch. I gotta get this out now. This thing got stuck. I gotta get something to pull it out. Five hours later. Whoever had it before had this out incorrectly and had to go in that way. So now that it's in, it goes like that. Just like that. And it turns and it's supposed to wet the tape. So that's good. I don't know if they have instructions. I think they have instructions online on how to use it and how to feed the tape through. As you know, I have my tape gun and I have my garden shears and I have my scissors and my blade that I'm constantly using and they're usually all over this desk over here so what I wanted to do is I wanted to get maybe one magnet strip that I put right over here and I would have them all lined up like that but on sale was four so four 12 inch for 30 four 12 inch size for 30 so the toilet paper holder is gonna go over here and these are gonna go like right here, right here, right here, and right here. So I'll have them all over here. So I have all my tools on the wall. All right, let's see exactly if this was worth the investment. All right, so here's one of them. Mm, seems pretty good. It has a sticker on it, but that's what I was told, and that seems to be normal. This is where it gets bolted in. This one will go like right over here. So if it goes right over here, ooh. yeah, that holds it. That's good. Where's my, there's a knife. Oh, the knife doesn't stick. Oh, I might have to get another knife. The knife doesn't stick. I'm gonna have to get another knife. Sorry, Chef Flips. Probably gonna have to get another knife. Ah, that sucks. Okay, doesn't matter. But we'll put that there. Then another one's gonna go over here. Then another one's gonna go over here. Then another one's gonna go there. And we're gonna have them all over the place. It's awesome. All right, so the next time you see me, I guess this is all gonna be installed, hopefully, and successfully. And I'm gonna get myself a new knife because, unless I put a magnet strip on it, that's a better idea. I might as well just get a magnet strip to put over there. That's probably what I do. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.